I'm going to tell you a story about a boy who would never grow up. Welcome to Neverland! And what would be the best thing about being a kid forever? Um, the best thing about being a kid forever? Well, particularly in Neverland where you don't have to go to school. Okay, <laughs> so let's start there. I just think that kids really see the world as magical, full of possibility and wonder. Loretta, you're too young to even know there's any other way, but sometimes when we get older, uh, you know, the world can become a little tougher, more challenging, not as magical and wonderful. Actually, you know, another thing, believing anything is possible. Yes. Kids believe anything is possible. And as they get on, it's adults saying, well, I don't know about that. No, kids just, they just dream and then they think they can, they can do that, which they can, that's the truth. And this is a fun question. Good. So if you could actually fly, where would you go? Oh, where would I go? Can you go to other planets? Okay then. then I See, would... I hadn't even thought of that was possible. See, kids, anything's possible. Mm -hmm. I'd go yeah. to fourth university way, that's how far I would go. And then I go to each planet there. But on the earth, then I'll go to Switzerland. Neverland is full of fantastic creatures, and if you weren't human, what kind of creature would you be? Or a cheetah. Ooh. Just to be that fast. But Just to know you're the fastest on the planet. Yes, yes, but cheetahs can't run for very long, so I think I would want to be a <laughs> honey badger. Why? Have you? Oh, honey badgers are so cool. I don't know, They're I'm so intrigued. Tough. They're, ah, they're like, really? yeah, they're probably one of the toppest animals really? on the earth. What about you? What animal? Yes. Oh god, I hadn't thought of that. I think I would be a lion. Nice. I really like lions. Yeah. I don't know why. I think they start... Um, I used to think I really loved lions because they start with the L. And my name starts with an L. Loretta. Yeah, yeah, so I would think of myself as Loretta. Loretta the lion. It's got a ring to it. Who inspired you to become an actor? I think it was an Australian actor when I saw a, a guy called Hugo Weaving, who I think Levi will know, and I saw him, he was at my school, and he did a musical called Man of La Mancha, and when I saw that, I was like, oh, I'd love to be able to do that. Did you get to skip school? I did tutoring. Did you can't tutoring. skip it. No. Even if you're Peter Pan, you can't skip school. No. <laughs> and it's what's even weirder, Loretta, you're gonna, not gonna, when you get to my age, when you're 46, you're gonna go, wouldn't it be great to be back at school? Hard to imagine, really? right? Yeah. What's a fun fact about you? I love green apples. Is, Is that a fun? fun? Fact? <laughs> I absolutely love them. Yeah, I like mangoes. <laughs> I can um, actually do more loop-the-loops than almost anybody around the planet and I won the yo-yo championship when I was 10. Wow. So there you go. I can also catch 15 coins off my elbow. Oh, that's so fun. Yeah. I love doing those. What's a fun fact about you, Loretta? Um, I know a little bit of sign language. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Really? Can you show me? Oh, sure. Um, a, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, S T U V W um, X Y Z. Very oh, good. That's it. amazing. Wow. Yeah, so it seems like you had an amazing adventure doing this. We had a great time. My pleasure, Loretta. That was one of the more fun interviews yeah, exactly. we've had to do. Thank you. Thank you so, Thank so you. much. Thank you. Take care. It's great to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.